hello friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll discuss about uh, one more library in python that is open cv so this open cv is a python library used to manipulate the images working on images open cv so open cv stands for so open computer vision so it is for working on images right so manipulating the images supplying the filters right everything which we are working on images that will be uh, with the help of open cv so first thing we have to install this open cv and import the open cv so that we can make use of functions in that particular library so installation of open cv so for installation we need to use a pip command so use the following command exclamation mark pip install open cv hyphen python so by executing this one in the jupyter notebook it will install the open cv library so after that we have to import the computer vision library so that library name we call it as a open cv2 so once you install the open cv we have to import the library cv2 and in that we are going to use a many functions so in today's session we will see two functions that is how to read the image from the system and how to write the image into the system right so in order to read the system, read the image we are having a one function called im read function so which is used to read the image from the system right and i am write i am write function is used to display the image or create the image image on desktop on system right so we'll see these two functions now and the syntax of this i am read syntax of i am read function is i am read of give the path give the path of the image okay and similarly i am right function in the i am right function the syntax of uh, i am right function is so simply use i am right followed by path and the image okay which image you want to display right so now let us open the jupyter notebook and we'll execute so as i said first we have to install the open cv library so exclamation pip install open cv hyphen python execute so just wait for a few minutes let it be installed see we got a message requirement already satisfied that means already my in my system i have already installed this open cv hyphen python so now uh, first of all uh, we have to import the file cv2 so even though you are installing the open cv so we have to import the cv2 computer vision 2 and now we are having the input uh, function that is a reading input so we can read the information or read the image from the system so i have downloaded one image here so you can see this is the image i have downloaded so we can display this image okay so just copy the location here so go to the properties of this one so you'll be getting the location so just copy the location and so we know that uh, take one variable is equal to so cv2 dot im read function give the path here give the name so tiger dot jpg and use a double slashes because if you are using only single slash it will be considering as a escape sequence so use the double slashes in the path wherever you are using in python simply use a double slashes and the second parameter 
is a flag so initially it is a one that means a color image right so i am read uh, i am read underscore color is a flag value right see the second one okay i forget to tell you here it's a flag and here see the flag is cv2 dot color underscore sorry i am read underscore color i am read underscore color so this is one flag another one is cv2 dot i am read underscore grayscale so the input image will be in in the form of grayscale right so initially the value we can also give the value for this flag initially it is a one if it is a color image it's a one if it is a grayscale image it is represented as zero so that we can give input here so instead of giving a cv2 dot i am read underscore color simply you can use a one so by default it will be one so next display the image so the image will not be displayed here but the image will be created in this particular location so here we'll see cv2 cv2 dot so in order to display the image we are having i am right right function and give the path where exactly you need to display the image see i will copy the same one i'll copy the same one the first parameter is the location where we have to save so i'll give here see duplicate tiger the file name is duplicate tiger and see you can observe here we have read the image to img variable so just i'll display this one which image we need to display right now if you execute this one so we'll get the boolean result either true or false if it if we get a true obviously that implies the duplicate tiger image has been created in this same folder because we are giving the same folder see i am, I am executing this one see we got a true so that means the image has been created here so you can see duplicate tiger so previously we are having only one so i'm again once again i'm deleting this one and only one uh, image is available in this particular folder now i am ex again executing this code so that the whatever the image we are having in that particular folder will be saved in this particular image and we are again writing the same thing into the same location with another name called duplicate tiger so we have executed and now if you refresh this page so we'll be getting that duplicate tiger now what happens if you give the flag zero see if you give a flag as zero now the same image whatever the image we are having here tiger that image will be copied to img but in a grayscale so because zero flag is zero means it's a grayscale image and the same grayscale image will be displayed here so once you execute this one so only one change i have done that's a flag value i have uh, changed the flag value as zero instead of one so one represents the color and a zero represents the grayscale so now i have mentioned only zero now you can observe so i execute so again we got a true that means again one more image see you can observe here the grayscale image has been created right so the color image and a grayscale image and if you are giving one it's a color by default it will be one okay if you specify the flag as zero that implies it's a cv2 dot i am read underscore grayscale that means the image will be saved in a grayscale format so these two are the functions used to read the image and write the image right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, reading the image and writing the image so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you re really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much